Members of missing and murdered Native Americans are throwing their support behind a package of bills intended to help address the crisis. KPAX's Jonathan Varian looks at some of the proposed legislation. On Wednesday, people from around Montana gave emotional testimony about how they've been affected by what they call an epidemic of missing and murdered indigenous people, many of them women and children. It's a crisis and we're reaching out to you guys now asking you guys for help. Many of those in attendance wore red, a color that has come to symbolize missing and murdered indigenous women. Representative Ray Peppers of Lame Deer is sponsoring two bills and a package of legislation designed to help resolve these cases. And they're asking for our support as legislators to step up for them and look for justice. One of the proposals is House Bill 21, known as Hannah's Act. It would create a missing persons specialist in the Montana Department of Justice to work closely with other agencies on missing persons cases. The bill is named after Hannah Harris, a lame deer woman found murdered in 2013 after being missing for five days. Her mother, Melinda Harris Limberhand, was among those testifying for the bill. We need somebody to come in and help us out. Um, I'm trying to do my part also by standing up and speaking for the, the people who have lost their loved ones. Another bill, House Bill 54, would require law enforcement agencies to open a report without delay when someone is reported missing and add those reports to a national crime database as soon as possible. Paula Castro Stop's daughter, 14-year-old Henny Scott, was missing for three weeks before her body was found. If these, these limitations are put in place, I believe my daughter would have been found alive. After the hearing, more than 100 people gathered in the rotunda for a rally to highlight the issue of missing and murdered women. Family members then joined Governor Steve Bullock for a news conference. Those who came to testify say they'll do whatever they can to make sure this issue isn't forgotten. We are the voice, and we will not be silenced anymore. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.